it's Jen with JQIC Inc. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going to talk about bras. So I asked all of you to tell me a little bit about the wardrobe issues that you're experiencing. The second most talked about item was bras. So we're going to dive right in and I'm going to kind of talk about what issues you've all experienced and how you can avoid some of those issues. So a couple of the comments I received were, I'm large breasted and underwire cuts in and sometimes the underwire even moves in my bra. That's like sucks, that's not supposed to happen. Um, I can't get my back fat to stop showing. Yep, that totally sucks and I get what you're saying. I hear you girl. Uh, the straps dig into my shoulders and after a while it really hurts. Yep, when it's digging in, it totally hurts. I'd just rather wear a sports bra. Um, yeah, no, you can't just wear a sports bra. So um, we'll get into that later. But if that's how you feel, it looks like you've probably given up a little bit. So give me a call. So bras are such an important part of our wardrobe. I think a lot of women don't realize how important they really are. And probably because they go under your clothes, they're not always um, shown on the outside. Maybe just you or your partner is seeing it. But bras are super important, okay, for a few reasons. One of which is your posture. Your posture is impacted by your bras. If you're wearing an ill-fitting bra, your posture is certainly not gonna be up to par, okay? Secondly, uh, your girls are not going to be supported in the way that they need to be. As we age, uh, our breasts tend to sag a little bit. Well, part of the reason why our breasts sag is that we have a ligament in our tissue that stretches over time. And like a rubber band, eventually it loses its elasticity and it stops holding the girls up, okay? That's one of the reasons why we stop having perky girls. So it's important for us to help help that uh, ligament along the way, okay? So really well-fitted bra is super important, okay? Um, also, you can have spillage on the front or maybe in the back, you have back fat that's showing through. An ill-fitting bra could be one of the reasons why you have back fat in the, bra in the back. Not every single reason, but it could be part of it. Uh, and then also, of course, we don't want saggy boobs. We don't want the look of saggy boobs, okay? So I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail about this. So if you've not gotten fitted for a bra recently, like in the last six months to a year, now's the time to get fitted, okay? It's really important that you have a well-fitted bra for your frame, for your weight, for your size and everything because like I said, a lot of things are impacted by the fit and if you're not properly fitted, it's going to show in your clothes, whether you believe it or not, okay? So important to recognize that as your weight changes over the years, you, you also get fitted for a bra, okay? If you fluctuate up and down, you definitely, your, your, your bra size is going to change, okay? So I'd recommend you do a lot of homework on the front end because I guarantee you on the back end, you are going to be a happy girl as well as your girls will be happy too that you did all of your homework, okay? So where do you get fitted? That's a question I get a lot. Where you can get fitted is actually pretty prevalent. You at any department store, Macy's, Nordstrom, Lord and Taylor, any of the major department stores you can get fitted, okay? And all of those women are typically well-trained in helping you get the right size bra. So go where you're most comfortable because that's the most important part, okay? There are also specialty stores like Soma. Soma is excellent. That's really what their, their, their specialty is. Uh, there's a place here in Denver called Soul, S-O-L. It's located in Cherry Creek. They do, their bras are a little bit more expensive, but I promise you it will be worth the money that you spend because the bra will last you quite a long time. They'll also give you instructions on how to care for the bra and all of that fun stuff, okay? So Victoria's Secret is another option. A lot of us know about Victoria's Secret. The only thing is Victoria's Secret is not 
the be all end all for bras okay I'd really caution you I'm not a huge fan of Victoria's Secret I think it's great when you're younger but as you age and or if you're uh, plus size it's really not an option to shop there because they're pretty limited so uh, going to some of those other stores is going to serve you well okay Lane Bryant they're well trained if you're plus size that's a great place to go and then once you get fitted uh, you can go to some of those other online stores like um, Edition L is a really good place to go third love but again you really want someone to actually fit you for the bra so make sure that you get that done okay so there are a, a slew of different kinds of bras that you should be wearing and I also noticed that a lot of my clients a lot of women tend to not understand that there are a whole different list of bras that you can get depending on the outfit that you're wearing okay so I'm gonna go through a couple of them to help give you an idea but it's really important that you're wearing the right bra for the right outfit so that's a really important factor here so a push-up bra does just that it pushes the girls up and that is kind of for effect you you want cleavage to show that's what a push-up bra does it's a little bit more sexy like if you're going out if you're going on a date that might be a great thing careful not to show too much because you don't want to give the wrong impression and then you make a total dud okay uh, that's a whole nother video though a padded bra a padded bra is great for women who are maybe a little bit more uh, smaller chested or maybe you just are having some issues with some you know things poking out that would be a great way to cover that up a t-shirt bra is a really great option uh, for the majority of what you're wearing because a t-shirt bra is lightly padded and a t-shirt bra really is um, meant for just that thinner material like t-shirts and it avoids showing any kind of bra lines you really want to try to avoid bra lines if you can and a t-shirt bra is an excellent way to do that okay and then there's the convertible bra as well as the strapless bra the convertible and strapless are very similar but the strapless is really just typically a strapless bra whereas a convertible will convert so that you can go backless you can wear funky clothes because the straps will kind of do an X or they'll wrap around your body, whichever, they're using kind of the trunk of your body. The key to that is making sure that they are fitted properly. This is so, so important because they're not using your shoulders, okay? You have no, you don't have the advantage of straps, so you're using the trunk of your body. So the bra is going to be fitting other places. So make sure it's fitted well and the majority of the time those bras have some of that sticky material on the inside that will kind of adhere itself to your skin so that it helps the girls stay up a little bit without pulling and tugging the last thing you want to do is pull and tug on a bra all night long it's super irritating not to mention it just makes you look ill prepared um, and one quick note on straps that i really want to talk about a lot of women don't um, realize how important it is to have your straps utilize them if you're wearing a properly fitted bra you should be utilizing your straps to your advantage no they shouldn't be digging in and pulling but they also shouldn't be sitting here okay there is no point in wearing a bra if you're not even going to keep the straps tightened enough to hold the girls up everything works in conjunction with one another so tighten those straps girls I'm just telling you it is one of my biggest pet peeves What's the point? There's the straps are there for a reason, so utilize them. Okay, straighten those suckers out. Okay, tighten them up. Another couple of items that have come onto the market uh, as of late is the bralet and then the bandeau bra. I love them. They're awesome for um, casual looks. Do not wear a bralet and show it off in the office. It's so inappropriate. Definitely not something you should be doing. If your office is a bar, that's totally fine. But if you really work in a traditional office, you should not be wearing a bralette to show off your bra. It's just, it's, it's bottom line, just inappropriate, okay? It's really meant for more casual. You can wear a bralette with like a tank top or a bandeau with a tank top. It looks super, super sexy and kind of chic and cool and just play around with that. Have a great time, okay? And then the last one is the sports bra. I alluded to this earlier. Sports bras are obviously super important. When you're getting exercise, it really is meant to 
avoid injuries, shall we say, for those of us who are large chested. Um, but it's also important that you get a sports bra that fits you properly and is really holding in the girls if you're running um, because there's nothing more painful. Let's, let's be honest, okay? Um, but if you're wearing a sports bra on the regular, there's a couple of other things probably going on. It looks like you gave up. Don't don't send that message to the world. Give me a shout. We'll have a conversation. But really, a sports bra is not meant to be worn every single day um, on the regular. It's only meant to be worn when you're working out and you're really doing things that, that kind of justify it, okay? So that's kind of my diatribe on that. Anyway, the top three things, uh, takeaways from today's video is fit. Fit is super important, okay? It's kind of like real estate is location, location, location. Bra is fit, 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 okay? Definitely go with the right fit. Also, the type of bra you're wearing, match that to the type of outfit you're wearing. As I've said before, your outfit and everything, it's like a canvas. Everything fits together. If an artist sees a canvas and they're painting and they put in the wrong color, it messes up the entire canvas, just like your bra will too, okay? So keep that in mind. Make sure that you're wearing a bra that makes you feel good, improves your posture, makes the girls look really well um, fitted and that they're sitting perky like they should be. And at the end of the day, really you need to be comfortable wearing the bra that you're wearing. If it's super uncomfortable, it either doesn't fit well or it's not made. It could be both. So think about those things. Those are your top takeaways and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.